Hey everyone, it's Katie from Bobby Hair Studio. Today I'm gonna give you guys a crash course on how to tone to blonde for every hair color. Every client has unique needs for their blonde ambitions and here's how you can formulate for them. Every formulation is unique and should be treated as such. Before you plan your toner, evaluate the health of the hair based on previous chemical treatments. Henna, box dye, semi, demi, or permanent hair color, keratin straightening, perms, chlorine, and previous lightening. Everything needs to be taken into consideration. Porosity, damage, chemical services, natural base level, and desired outcome. And I'm gonna show you a couple examples of this. Here is a color correction that you guys have probably seen on my channel before this, and if you haven't, go check it out. This client has naturally virgin hair for the first four inches. As you can see, that lifted to a perfect level 10, even from her natural level two hair. And then the rest of it had black dye in it two times over. And as you can see here, she's already been bleached once. This is her second bleaching. If you do wanna go see that video, I can link it in the description below. And this was the outcome of her full color correction appointment. This took about 10 hours but her natural hair lifted so beautifully that's not stopping her from being a platinum blonde in the future. This is a natural hair color depth chart. The darker your natural level is, the more melanin it likely has in it. To determine how many levels of lift we need, we need to figure out where our starting point is and where we want our finishing final product to be. A rule of thumb for easy toning, you do wanna lift a level or two lighter than your desired level. So why would you wanna do that? I'm gonna show you with underlying pigments. This is the chart of underlying pigments. It shows actual pictures of hair at their starting level and what's actually underneath of them. This is what I meant earlier by melanin. So here it is, everybody lifts warm and that's the color that's residing underneath of your hair when you expose it to lightener. This chart is a great helper because if you have level two hair and you wanna lift it to a level seven and go for a bronze color, you can expect a lot of yellow orange pigments. If you want to not have to fight those, you need to lift her to a level eight where she only has yellow pigments available. Now I've had a lot of clients who naturally come in with a level two or a three and they do lift to a level 10 very quickly and they don't lift with a lot of red in their hair. So keep this chart in mind when I show you how you can formulate for every type of blonde later in this video. So to reiterate, preparing for the brass. Depending on your guest's starting level, you can prepare for more brass in their lift. Brass equals natural warm colors. The deeper their natural tone, the more brass you can expect when they lift. However, every rule has its exception. Not all of my dark haired clients lift really orange. This is my client, Maria. Maria is Mexican and she has a lot of old red dye in her hair about an inch and a half away from the scalp where she started growing her natural color. And as you can see, she's lifted to a perfect level 10, even though she has naturally a level two hair. And with the power of toner, we were able to tone out that old red staining from her red color previously. And we were able to put on a beautiful shadow root onto her natural color because she wants to grow out her natural roots and just have a soft blonde ombre. But wait, how do I know if it's light enough? We've all had that moment where you pull out the foils and they look so beautifully bright and white, but that's because the bleach is on them. The moment you actually start washing them out, all this natural true pigment is being shown and all of that yellow appears out of nowhere. The client that you just saw in the sink has naturally level seven hair. So you saw that yellowy gold color. This client has more of a level three or two hair and you can see a lot of orange and red in her hair. Now this client wanted to go to more of a chocolatey brown color. So the orange colors actually are beneficial to her hair. She's not quite done, but she is almost there with her processing. That natural warm pigment in her hair is going to actually help support any kind of chocolatey or warm colors that we put into her hair. So I don't actually want to remove all of it. While well, this client here is trying to go white blonde with her foils. And this foil here is not quite done. Almost five more minutes and she'll be ready. Now we're gonna go over toner basics. First, I'm gonna go over bright, warm, sunny, and beachy blondes. For bright blondes, honestly, you do wanna lift to a level 10. If you have a tiny bit of warmth still left in there, that's totally okay because brightness equals a little bit of warmth. This client has naturally light hair, so when her hair lifts, it goes almost entirely translucent, but it's so beautiful. Whenever I tone to a warm color, I always obviously include warm toners in my Schwarzkopf formulations. I try to keep the ash tones to as minimal as possible, only to fight any actually yellow tones, but gold is where brightness lives. 
If you want to see warmth and shiny, sunny hair in Schwarzkopf, make sure to include a dash five in there, which is a gold. Another color you can do is a dash six five, which is a chocolate gold. These are my two favorite colors to use for any of my bright, sunny blondes. Having too much ash in my formula will actually dull my color down and not allow for the shiniest possible result. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, we are gonna to be toning for ashy, icy, or cool tone blondes. For ashy and icy tones, you wanna to lift to a level 10 if possible. You wanna have as little natural warmth in the hair as humanly possible. If you're toning to like a level eight, you do wanna to lift to a level nine or a 10. Again, reducing as much of the natural brass as possible is our main goal. For ashy tones that are more silvery, I don't actually incorporate any gold or warmth at all. My formulations usually just include a dash one, which is a cendre, or a dash one and a dash nine, which is a violet. Ash can be a little bit dull looking, so if you do want a little bit more warmth, make sure you add a tiny bit of gold in there, just to neutralize the hair. For this client, I had two parts of an ash formula and one part of a gold formula, and my gold formula was a level lighter than my ash formula. For example, I would have used 9-1 on her hair with a bit of 9.5-5-5. And now toning for a beige, bronze, or natural looking blonde. This is right between cool and warm, so this is right in the middle. When it comes to neutral tones, it's actually very helpful to have a little bit of natural warmth in the hair. The reason being is you don't want to have no pigment in the hair when you're going for a neutral color. When you're going for a neutral color, you want to have a little bit of a balance between the warm colors and the cool colors to bring it right back to the center of where neutral lives. So having a little bit of yellow or orange in the hair is great. And what you need to do is when you have those colors is you need to use the opposite color on the color wheel to them. So if you have yellow, you need to formulate with a bit of a violet. When you have gold or orange, you need to formulate with a little bit of a cendre or a blue tone. Not only that, but you also need to add in a natural beige or gold tone. Those are colors that I like to call fill colors because they fill in the structure of the hair and give it that softer, more bronze or beige color that you're looking for. You're not just neutralizing everything out to make it as bright as possible. So when it comes to Schwarzkopf colors, the colors that I like to use in my bronze, beiges and naturals are all 9-4, 8-4, those are both the beige tones in my blonde colors. Or I like to use a 9-0 or an 8-0 if I'm looking for a warmer version of bronze or caramel. Anything with a dash 4, a dash 0, or a dash 6 is going to be a great color to incorporate into your blondes or your beiges when you're thinking about using Schwarzkopf Vibrance. Now it's time for everybody's favorite, toning to the lightest and brightest blonde, because let's be honest, it's what we're all here for. Here is an example of a client of mine. She naturally has level eight hair and we're trying to get her to literally colorless hair. We're trying to make her as white as humanly possible. So here I am checking up on how her bleach root is doing. And from that color right there, I can see there's a little bit of warmth, even with the bleach on. She is not ready to go yet. She needs at least another 10 minutes. In the second clip here, you're gonna be able to see what a true colorless lift looks like. Here I am revealing her bleach root and she has lifted to the most translucent, beautiful color and her hair is still on and it's still healthy. And that is because she is naturally a level eight. She's able to lift to a colorless hair color while still maintaining the integrity of her hair. Look at that, it looks almost bluish. That's the color you're looking for when you want to go to a white, white, white blonde. The key is with white blonde, if you see any yellow at all while she's still lifting, she's not ready. Leave her for another five to 10 and just keep checking on her. Because the less yellow there is, the less toner you have to use with purples in it and that will make it easier for you to balance out her color. This is her color when her hair is wet. She is white blonde. I love her hair. This right here is another client of mine that I tone to as white as possible. Now, if you do want a really shiny result like this, it is important not to go into the ashy tones because when you go into ash, ash is more of a dull color. When you go into the more golden tones, you get more shine. And when you go right into the middle of neutral, you can have both. You can have softness that ash provides and brightness and shine that warmth provides. It just comes down to finding the balance. 
The easiest way to provide that balance is to lift to the lightest possible color your client can. And that leads us to the end of our tutorial for the day. I hope you guys learned something and I hope that now blonde toning is a little easier to understand for when you're using Schwarzkopf Vibrance toners. Remember to like and subscribe and follow us on our Instagram and our TikTok. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.